Hello friends, today I am going to show you the easiest method to operate the CM in your OT when you don't have a trained technician. In fluoroscopy guided pain interventions, we need to know the different angulations of the fluoroscopy machine which is many times not needed for the orthopedic operations. Usually with AP lateral they can finalize their guided position, their screw positions which is not possible in our case. That's why first we ourselves have to know this machine thoroughly so that we can teach our technicians properly for our benefit. Initially, the simplest techniques will help you to reduce the needle placement time and in due course you have to train your technician in such a way so that they can operate the CM in a proper way knowing the radio anatomy. So let's see what are the simplest techniques to operate this CM. So now we will see little bit about the operations of the machine. So first we will put on the machine. Okay. So here we can see some digits and the most important thing is the KB here for us. Here you can see it is written ABS. It is automatic brightness system. If we put on the ABS, we will not be able to change the KB. Automatically it will adjust the exposure and give you the picture. It may satisfy you or may not satisfy you. That's why many times we put off the ABS and we can change the KB as per our requirement because different patients tissue density is different. Okay. Now let's see the functions of the different knobs of the machine. That's all. So now I'm going to tell you how to teach the machine in the simplest way to the technician because they don't know about the cephalocaudal, oblique, minute things are there which knob will work for which so how in the simplest way you can teach them you will give the number you say this I will give number one this is for taking the CM anterior and posterior okay this is number one so if you tell them one so automatically they will only open this they will close all these things it's the first thing now coming to this so this is number two so two is for taking the CR oblique okay AP lateral oblique so once I tell them just open the two keep the one off at a time we should not open so many knobs only one knob has to be open so this is closed now it will never go anterior posterior now two will only help you to make the CM AP and lateral okay so now let's see about the other knobs So after knowing 1 and 2, or we have described the 1, it is to take it from anterior and posterior, 2 it is for AP lateral oblique, now I will close it, 1, 2, this will be 3, 3 for cephalocaudal or autocephalic. So whenever I want the cephalocaudal or autocephalic for adjusting the lordosis kyphosis that time immediately I will tell them open 3 so now 2 is closed 1 is closed open 3 so immediately I can operate this they don't know what I am doing initially but I know how I can save my time by only telling these numbers so 1 for going anterior posterior 2 for going oblique epilateral 3 for cephalocaudal okay and this is now 4 4 is to make the whole CM to make it 90 degree with the patient. Usually, we don't keep the CM obliquely with the patient. Many times, orthopedists they need it, but for ours, we always keep the CM. It is 90 degree with the machine and 90 degree with the patient. So for that, is number four. Okay. So whenever you are starting the procedure, you first see, open the four and make it 90 degree with the patient, 90 degree with the table also and 90 degree with the 
the machine then you close it no need to move the machine now you can work only with one two three you know what to do you are just ordering your technician just open one open two open three in that way you can reduce your time to place your needle just telling one two three so they have to understand it is your duty you have to teach them radio anatomy anatomy symmetry because they are all ot technicians they know medical things they are paramedics but as they are not used to with our different minor techniques to reach the target so they may not help you initially for that is 1 2 3 4 immediately help you to reduce your time and finalize your needle position now if any time you want to change the position of the whole machine so once you're fixing the machine in particular place there is no need to change the position of the machine but if at all you want to change the position of the machine this is the number 5 so 1 2 3 4 and 5 just with the 5 i am taking the machine up and down okay and then i'm walking it so this is whatever the direction you can see that is the direction of the move of the machine okay if i want to go ahead i will be it straight if i go to side i will be it this it's not in between 90 degree with the machine parallel with the machine so in that way i am going ahead and to the side and going up and down and on top of that you can lock the machine out but most of the time once you fix that particular zone by only knowing 1 2 3 you can do any procedure and as you are there on the other side so you can totally guide with the simplest technique how to operate the machine so these are the simple thing how you can operate the machine in a simple way with the untrained technician in your ot in your initial days thank you now for example i'm going to show you how with this simplest command 1 2 3 4 i will do the procedure so fast and my untrained technician will help me very easy so i will take ap take number 1 Close one. Open two. Close two. Open one. See, within a minute, I can make it lateral. Okay. Now again, open two. Take the one. Increase the height. Okay, I'll go for the table of orders. Okay, fine. Number three. See, table of orders. Close three. Open one. Close one. Open two. Increase the height. Okay. Open two. Increase the height. Close two. Open one. Okay. So you can see how simply. Without knowing, he may not be knowing what I want, but I know what I want in that way. I'm just giving command one, two, three, four immediately because he will when you do the operation, you will definitely cover the CM with the CM power. So immediately you can change the position in the initial stage with the simplest command one, two, three, four, and five.